All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation nine to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So I'm gonna first start by dividing every term by 25 to the power of x. So these two cancel out to get one. So now I have nine over 25 to the power of x plus 15 over 25 to the power of x is equal to one. Now, 9 over 25, I can rewrite as 3 squared over 5 squared. And 15 over 25 is the same thing as 3 over 5. So 3 squared over 5 squared is the same thing as 3 over 5 squared. And now I have this to the power of x plus 3 over 5 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now, I can actually swap the places of these. So I get 3 over 5 to the power of x to the power of 2 plus 3 over 5 to the power of x is equal to 1. From here, I'm going to let 3 over 5 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have y squared plus y minus 1 equals 0. And if I use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, I get y is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 times 1 times negative 1. All over 2, which is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4, which is 5 over 2. Meaning, I have 3 over 5 to the power of x is equal to negative 1 plus the square root of five over two. And the reason why negative one minus the square root of five over two doesn't work is because that's negative and you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal negative. So from here, if I take the log on both sides, I get log three over five to the power of X is equal to log of negative one plus the square root of five over two. So I get X is equal to log of negative one plus the square root of five over two over log of three over five. So this is my solution. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of x to the power of six is equal to 27. So to solve this, I'm gonna first rewrite this as x to the power of x to the power of six is equal to three to the power of three. And now from here, This is the same thing as x to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to the cube root of 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3. Which is equal to the cube root of 3 to the power of 3 squared. Because 3 times 3 is 9 and 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. Now from here, I get x to the power of x to the power of six is equal to the cube root of three to the power of the cube root of three to the power of three to the power of two. And this is equal to the cube root of three to the power of the cube root of three to the power of six. meaning x is equal to the cube root of three because it's in the form x to the power of x to the power of six. So x in this case is the cube root of three.